It sounds like there's actually been a significant uh, culture change with respect to entrepreneurship, partly as a function of just the necessity of the reconstruction after the conflict, um, uh, but also partly because of sort of gov deliberate government programs. Um, Simpros, when you started your business, uh, what did uh, what did your friends and family say? And I'm particularly interested in your business because it was such a capital invest uh, intensive business. So, what did your friends and family say when you said you wanted to start a hotel? And can you contrast that with what they say to you now? Nangira oh. hotel. Mm. Vite wena hano naringi kuyubaka hara hano ha havi hada shimi shije wari wara jene ye chini yikorwa chokwa chira mas chitu charuhura. When I first began, when, uh, before I began my business, the, uh, my, the my location that I was choosing for the hotel was actually um, was actually prepared for a such like a sewage system. Uh, really. Hey, uh, how many chivans that you did you take as a chuko naha naha tunga nya haka hagatango musaru candy and have an easy need you call what you got a When I got the land and that area, um, I decided that I could explain floor and exploit this land and use it for something useful, maybe something that no one thinks is possible to be done in such an area. Mm -hmm. When I first began uh, the construction, the foundation, uh, people in the neighborhood uh, would say, oh, that woman is crazy. She's just wasting money in that sewage system, kind of flushing it out. Uh, I uh, did not focus on what everybody was saying. I just kept going forward and standing firm on my idea. And uh, interestingly enough, today there is a beautiful garden. People are amazed. And hey, I can say that it's the number one, and people have said so.